Okay, what's up everyone? Bo goes here and we're currently in the middle of the Khabib National Forest. I think that's what it's called, Khabib National Forest, something like that. Not 100%, but I just uh, woke up a little bit ago. We actually spent last night in the woods. We did a little, <clears throat> we did a little live stream and uh, played some games in the car, in the middle of the woods. It was pretty tight. Anyway, guys, right now I'm about to go and head on up to Wendy's and uh, get me some grub because I'm hungry and then I'm going to try to find a spot. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what we're about to do right now is we're about to mob on down to Wendy's. It's like 20 minutes from here and I know I can hear the comments already. Bo, you're supposed to be eating healthy. What the hell are you doing going to Wendy's? Look, bro, I'm kind of new to this car life stuff, so I kind of am not prepared with like food and everything. But we're gonna go get situated with some quick eats right now. Then we're gonna find a spot that has an excellent view of the Grand Canyon and set up and do a live stream right from as close as we can get to the edge of the Grand Canyon. So I'm almost to the park entrance and I figured, you know what, let me stop real quick and show you guys a view. Look at that. So that thing right there, apparently it's called duck on a rock. It's supposed to look like a duck on a rock, but I think it just looks like a rock on top of a rock. And right down there, we got some big boy ravens, man. Also, that looks like toilet paper in the tree. Whoever did that, you actually suck. And I hope that those ravens eat your brains. Anywho, it's time to get back up in the whip so we can get some Wendy's. Yeah, that's my... Hey, look at the size of this fella, bro. That's a big boy, big, big boy bird. I'm gonna name him Frank. Your name's Frank now, buddy. All right, guys, so I just came back from Wendy's. It was actually really not good. Um, I think I just ordered a bad breakfast item because I swear, I like their burgers are pretty fire and stuff, but maybe just breakfast isn't their cup of tea. We are headed back to the little forest spot where we kind of started this vlog off because I'm gonna do a live stream for a few hours. It just so happens that that little spot basically has the best reception and within the first like 10 miles of the park. So we're gonna go over there and ball out, play a little DMZ and um, you know, just have some fun. And then I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna get ready to watch UFC 291. All right guys, so I got the whole setup set up in the back of the car. We live from the middle of the woods. Well, we're not live when you're watching this video, but I was live before y'all seen this video. This is a little sneak peek of the mobile gaming setup, version two. I got two versions, version one, version two. Version two is for a controller. You know, we on the, we on the sticks today, baby, aim assist, all that. Um, chat, if you wanna be in the vlog, say what's Gucci. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got done wrapping up an amazing five hour stream. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you guys that supports the content and also that comes to the live streams, you know, which is also content, you know, don't get it twisted. I just wanted to show you guys something really dope that probably a lot of you guys have never seen before. So I'm just gonna walk right over here. So that right there, there's a fire watch tower. So basically the purpose of that is for people to go up there and like look at if a fire is moving in a certain direction or if there's a fire in general. That one's a really small one. I think it's actually an abandoned one, although I did just see a guy going down the stairs there, but I think this one's more of a tourist attraction at this point now. Still pretty cool. There's some of those in like Montana and Wyoming and Colorado, and I think California, where it, like they're big and like someone like lives there, I'm pretty sure like full time or like maybe full time during fire season or whatever. This spot right here is called Thor's Hammer Overlook. I don't know why it's called Thor's Hammer Overlook, but it's damn beautiful, man. It was really mind blowing when you realize that all of this was carved out by water. It gets even more mind blowing when you start thinking about the amount of water that it would take to carve this out and the amount of time that it took to carve this out. All right, so I just had like a little gas station burrito. I know, I know, I know. I hear you guys in the comment section again. You're supposed to be in Health Depot. Look, bro, there's like five options for food around here. Gas station, Wendy's, pizza, steakhouse that's overpriced. We had to go with the gas station burrito. And it wasn't your normal gas station burrito. They like they make it there. It's not like one of those like, you know. We're gonna head back into the park right now. I'm gonna go back to the spot that I was at. I'm gonna get a workout in and then I'm gonna put up and then I'm gonna watch UFC two, nine, one. Poirier versus Gaethy. <laughs> So now I'm just taking the dogs out so they can get some exercise before uh, they have to sit in the car all night. And it looks like Daisy's going pee right now. Uh, after we get done here, I'm hopping in that car. I'm watching UFC 291 because it's main car time, baby. I'm gonna have to rewatch the prelims and early prelims probably tomorrow. No, no, don't, 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 don't drink that. That's no, no, Phoenix. Uh, 
bro was just drinking dirty water. I have a feeling he's gonna have diarrhea tonight. All right, guys, I'm sitting in my car right now watching 291 and a whole gang of wild horses pulled up. You can see the small ones to the left of the tree and the big ones over on the right. All right, y'all, it's the next morning. God dang, man, how about them fights? 291, Derek Lewis coming out with the flying knee, baby. And how about that knockout? Gaethy with the kick, second round. I'll tell you what, though, I'm never placing no money on Tony Ferguson again, man. That man allows me 40 bucks. But I made all my money back, though, because of Derek Lewis and because of Gaethy, baby. Yes, sir.